exponential and logarithmic equations. The important thing to remember for this section is that exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverse functions of each other, meaning that they undo one another. So they undo each other. We're going to use this fact to solve logarithmic equations and exponential one. So let's look at our first example. Here, we're going to solve for x. If you think you can, go ahead and try this yourself first. When you're ready, resume the video and see the solutions. For this first problem, we have an exponential, which means we're going to use a logarithmic function to bring down our exponent. See that x's are in our exponent right now? We're going to use the logarithm. Now you can use whatever logarithm you like, whatever base you think is best, but most often it's easiest to use either the common log, which is log base 10, or natural log, which is log base e or ln, just because our calculators can then do those calculations. I'm going to use the common log. I'm going to take log base 10 of both sides. This lets me bring down the exponent as a coefficient out front. Thus we get 2 minus 5x equals log of 11 divided by log of 3. I can plug that into my calculator if I want to. So I plug in log of 11 divided by log of 3, and that is approximately 2.183. Now I see that negative 5 equals 2.183 minus 2, which is 0 0.183. Divide both sides by negative 5, and I end up with negative 0 0.037 if I round. And that's our value of x. If that one made sense to you, go ahead try the second problem on your own. Pause the video and when you're ready, resume the video to see the solution. For this next problem, again we see that we have x in our exponents. We're going to use logarithms to bring down those exponents. To change it up, I'll go ahead and use the natural log this time. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides, get ln of 5 to the 3x minus 1 equals ln of 2 to the x plus 3. Having natural log of a base to an exponent allows me to bring those exponents out front as a coefficient. 3x minus 1 times ln of 5 equals x plus 3 times ln of 2. I can rearrange to get 3x minus 1 over x plus 3. So I divided both sides by x plus 3 equals ln of 2 over ln of 5. And I got that by dividing both sides by ln of 5. I can plug ln of 2 divided by ln of 5 into my calculator and get approximately 0 0.431. Thus I have 3x minus 1 over x plus 3 equals 0 0.431. You could have also, on this step, just went ahead and plugged in ln of 5 and ln of 2 and distributed. Either way works. But now I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 3 so that I get rid of having any denominators. Get 3x minus 1 equals 0.431x plus, now I take 3 times 0 0.431, 1.293. 